Hey, what's up guys and welcome to another YouTube video made by yours truly, Luke Trick. Today, I will be showing you guys uh, my controller collection right here. So, um, I got more, not just this controller, um, but I've been wanting to do a video like this for a long time. And if you guys want uh, more videos from me, definitely um, leave a comment in, this, in, the sec in the comment section, giving me YouTube uh, ideas, maybe. And I hopefully hopefully you guys like it. Um, once again, drop a like, uh, hit the subscribe, um, post, share, all that and stuff. So uh, let's get to it. All right, guys. To start this off, we are going to start off with the default controllers right here. So all of these controllers right here are just your plain old default controllers, whether you got them from the store or um, you got them from when you got your console, such as the PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, or Xbox One or 360 um and you know to start this off you know this is my collection of default controllers right here so i want to show you guys the 360 controller right here this controller right here has pretty much become a staple into um how i got into gaming in the first place right here i've had this controller for for a long long time since 2012 you see all of, like the, the the wear and tear on the on the thumbsticks right here um, got the the original default uh, controller buttons right here, and uh, overall this controller just like feels nice, you know. Compared to every every other controller, this was probably like the best controller to ever be made right here, and the best design controller right here. So it still feels good in my hands here, and it's definitely like a staple. Um, all right, so we got this play the PlayStation 4 controller right here, and pretty much this was the next step console I got after the 360. I played on the 360 for about six years, and then um, after that, uh, I got the PS4 for my, for Christmas, uh, and um, that's pretty much how I got into um, using the DualSense Edge or DualSense or Dual Shock controller. These are DualSense. This is Dual Shock right here, and. Uh, Overall, I've loved this controller, um, and I still, to this day, I still use the Dual Shock, Dual Shock controller. I'll show you guys um, in the next set of controllers um, what I mean by that. Um, but yeah, I did get this red one right here just because um, I like red, so I decided to get this red one right here. And we got the PS5, aka the Dual Sense Edge, or the Dual Sense controller, not the Dual Sense Edge. Dual Sense Edge is the Pro controller right here. Um, but yeah, this is your. The new PS5 controller right here, or not new anymore, I guess, but still new to me. Um, it's a pretty nice controller, you know. I I got this from my from the PS5, and you know, white is definitely white and black is definitely a good color combo. Personally, for me, I'm not a big fan of the the big uh, ness of the controller. It is kind of thick, if you know what I mean, you know. Um, but you know, it, I use it from time to time. Um, the PS5 controllers, and they're you know, they're still good, you know. Personally, for me, I D are just like a little bit too chunky for me. That's why I prefer the PS4 controller over the PS5 controller. But these controllers are still very nice to hold on the hand, and um, I like the features on there and stuff. And so, so yeah, uh, I got this red one as well, just because you know why not add it to my collection and all that and stuff. So um, the red one does look cool. And then we got the Xbox 3 or the Series X controller right here, aka Series S. Um, pretty standard, you know. It has come a long way from the 360, as you can tell um, by the comparison right here. <laughs> Massive difference between these two uh, in terms of the design. And overall, I like this the, the this controller right here. It's pretty nice. Um, I did end up um slowly transitioning over the uh, the the way the the thumbsticks are on the playstation 4 controller um but this control are the the way the thumbsticks are on here i do i don't mind them at all and stuff so uh i got this controller because it's red and you know I, as you can tell i got all red <laughs> red for each uh console right here so um um very nice controller so yeah so next up guys we got the official controllers from playstation and xbox right here so i got both of them right here um so look at the th series x controller right here um yeah i got this controller um because i wanted to try see how it it was how it feels and um overall you know it is a nice controller um but uh, i do have some issues with the controller 
but overall i think it's a really nice controller uh the buttons feel nice and all that stuff so uh, i got this controller um just mainly for uh, my pc um it comes with other thumbsticks and other accessories uh d-pad for the d-pad uh longer joystick uh key for your uh thumbsticks extra paddles right here i do opt for two paddles right here so um yeah you know it's, an, it's a nice controller but overall it's not really my uh, favorite i'm more favor I'm, I'm more favor towards the playstation controllers um um for my preference and stuff so and then next we got the DualSense Edge controller. I remember when I first heard they announced um, this controller, uh, I was super pumped for it, for it, just because I do prefer the PlayStation controllers and the fact that it was it, this is an official product from PlayStation was ten was, was the reason why I was so hyped for it. And overall, I actually really do like this controller. Um, like I said in the uh, previous uh, the DualSense controllers. I'm not a big fan of like the, the the big size of it but um i will say though this controller is definitely my favorite uh dual sense controller by far it's got the two paddles right here i have the 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 flat paddles right here they do come with the dome paddles uh the uh the other thumbsticks are only dome right here so if you want an extended uh extend your height on your right thumbstick or thumbstick you will have to opt for the uh the dome and you got this lock uh charger cable ca right here it's very it's pretty nice it works very nicely and uh yeah the features are um pretty nice uh got the fn key the function keys um it is very it is actually very helpful uh, when you play on your play playstation 5 and uh yeah it's got a uh, the adjustable triggers if you're you want to play playstation 5 games you know get take full advantage of the features and if you are about to head into uh, Call of Duty or Apex. Switch them right here, and you get instant triggers. Not as instant as um, Scuff or Battle Beaver, but it's an official controller. So, yeah, definitely my favorite um, official controller out of these two right here. So, uh, yeah. All right, for the final final uh, group, we got the the crown jewels of my collection right here. We got the custom controllers made by Scuff and uh, Battle Beaver uh, and Aim Controller actually. So um, what we got here is the Be Battle Beaver. This is a Battle Beaver controller. This is the Scuff Envision that actually just came out uh, just recently, uh, about a couple months ago. Uh, we got the Scuff Infinity 4PS controllers. We got an Aim Controller right here. Now to start this off, I just want to look at this controller right here because this was actually the very first custom controller I ever, um, I ever bought. Um, as you can see, I I am a big fan of red, so a lot of these controllers are red right here. So um, this was the very first uh, custom controller I ever had, and I did I really had a good experience with this. <clears throat> um, it does come with two paddles right here. Uh, I did remove them just because. Um, the uh this button actually ended up breaking so um this is actually my second um scuff controller right here um but this one this one came with only the adjustable triggers at the time i wasn't sure about the the mouse click triggers and all that stuff so overall i really had a really great experience with this controller and uh you know bes besides those issues right here um I honestly really really think that uh, it, it definitely fits my my play style for fps shooters and really um scuff was um really um the controller that i actually really finally got into um fps in the first place how i got to apex and uh this definitely this controller um was definitely well used right here it is scruffed up you know overall this controller um was definitely the start of uh, me uh, getting to FPS shooters right here. So next up, we got the Battle Beaver controller. Um, I got this um, mainly because I wanted to see the back buttons. This is actually my second Battle Beaver, our third Battle Beaver controller. The first one I got was the Dual Sense Ed or Dual Dual Sense uh, Battle Beaver controller. I did return that, or I I had to sell that because um, I didn't like the way the, the buttons were placed. And then after that, I got a PlayStation 4, but then I also didn't like the placement for those two, so I sold that as well. And I finally got the controller, um, the button placement. So 
um when it comes to ordering from battle beaver it's kind of hard to tell or kind of hard to like figure out where you want the buttons placed because you won't actually know how they look or feel until you actually get them so um they did update their website so you can have a 3d gram of your controller when you're making it so that's pretty cool comes with instant triggers instant uh bumpers right here um just standard uh thumbsticks right here no increase or decrease and uh, overall this controller is very nice it's got uh the remappable uh back buttons right here so you can remap them and stuff so uh, overall definitely a really nice controller especially if you're, get, if you're getting into fps um shooters or like apex once again or like maybe overwatch you know who knows if you, if you like overwatch definitely a really nice controller to to use and uh yeah very nice all right right here we got the aim controller right here um i got this i got this this is pretty much my only custom ps5 controller i have right now um the I got the V3 paddles right here, and overall, this controller is, uh, you know, it's it, it's nice, you know. Once again, um, same thing with the other controllers or PS5 controllers. I'm not a big fan of the the the, the big the big uh, ness of the the controller. Um, it does come with it did come with uh, instant triggers and instant bumpers. Although the instant bumpers are kind of different on the aim controllers compared to the scuff and battle beaver. It's more you you feel it feels like you have to put more um, force into it, which um, doesn't give me that a good feeling uh, for that and stuff. So, um, but the triggers are are still good. So um, overall, I I do like the paddles right here. Um, I'm more of a paddle guy actually, um, rather than a back button. So uh, that's why I do like uh, scuff a little bit more than the others, just because I like the paddles system rather than the back buttons, but back buttons are still good the paddle system the v3 trees right here are they're fairly nice you just got to get used to to uh to using them pretty much all you do is you use your middle finger to um press all four or all all of them right here so if you want to hit the top buttons you just go inward if you want to use the bottom buttons you just do that i don't know if that was hard to see but um, overall, this you know this controller is it's it's pretty nice you know um, definitely my least favorite uh, custom controller out of all of these here actually um, uh, no other accessories uh, came with this and uh, yeah overall this controller you know it's it's nice but probably my least favorite uh, custom controller out of all of these right here and right here is my main controller the one I use currently at the moment probably the best controller I've ever used you know so we got the uh reactive paddles actually on here so there's there's two different types for the playstation 4 there's the regular ones where um it's more uh placed here um and then the reactive paddles which is uh, about ten dollars more um if you decide to do that um you get these reactive paddles if you do sp if you do get the reactive paddles you do get another set of regular paddles so um, if you spend that extra ten dollars, you can just experiment, see if you like it. If you don't like it, you can switch between the paddles. This comes with instant triggers, instant bumpers right here, um, just regular uh, buttons and all that and stuff. And overall, definitely my favorite um, controller out of all of my controllers in the collection. Really, it's the one I use currently, and definitely one um, I, I love the most um, out of all my controllers right here. And, um, to, to this day, I still um, really, really, really love uh, this controller right here. I know a lot of people say uh, um, stuff about, you know, scuff having like stick drift. Um, so far, I haven't had much issues with this. I've had this controller for about like, I'd say maybe a year. And overall, I think um, it's held up pretty nicely um, compared to this controller right here. Uh, this controller definitely did... Uh, Take some damage and uh did not last very long especially with the one of the back buttons actually not um it's not that it's not fun functioning it's just it it managed to like sink into the controller so uh, my paddle can't press it anymore so so far this the, this controller has uh stood up with my uh my hard gri gripping um for the past year and uh, it still holds up uh, to this day i did replace the thumbsticks you you can uh, get replaceable thumbsticks um you also get a key a little key for 
um over here if you want to remount the paddles i still have i still don't know how to do it i'm still trying to figure it out but over um i just have it on crouch and jump right here um also come i did get a key for like the the, the tension on the the trigger here whereas this one is instant trigger so i don't need that um you can get replaceable thumbsticks um or paddles i mean um and thumbsticks um it also comes with this case right here um it's universal so pretty much any controller can uh pretty much fit in there and uh yeah overall this controller is just yeah really nice so and then last but not least actually um we got the scuff envision so um if you guys are not familiar with this this is actually a new controller that scuff just came out so this is pretty much its pre uh, the predecessor of the scuff vantage um back then for, uh, for the playstation 4 and they pretty much um created a whole new model right here so what's different is um this is also built by corsair as well so it's got the rgb and all that stuff i don't have it right now and uh overall it's actually a really really nice controller um the, a lot of a lot of positives about this controller it's got the new thumbsticks i really like the thumbsticks it's got clicky uh it's got a clicky d-pad as well as clicky face buttons right here and pretty much everything's like clicky honestly even the side button the the sax buttons um and these sides buttons are called sax buttons and they're pretty much um extra buttons um which allows you to be able to remap them to anything on any of your anywhere on your controller and just press it by either doing this or just pushing inward and stuff and i heard a lot of good reviews about about it personally for me um the way i grip my controller i opt them out so um i still have them but um i just choose to not really have them which kind of defeats me kind of defeats the whole purpose of this controller's uh features but um you know it doesn't bother me too much uh this controller comes with the the xbox um instinct instinct controller i think that's what it's called so pretty much it uses that system where you use your middle finger to pretty much hit the the pat both all four buttons at the same time so you don't need your ring uh, ring finger because all you need to do is hit the sorry um you just need your hit your use your middle finger to either push inward for the middle uh, buttons and if you want to use the paddles you just push outward it is they are different they they are removable actually too the only the middle part uh the paddles you you actually cannot so this is more of a paddle um rather compared to the xbox controller so the xbox controller was like more of a, like a button right here these are more of a paddle um but these two are are, are still buttons they do they do remove if you do, if you don't want them um it's got wired or wireless connection so you can switch between the two uh th depending on what you prefer i personally prefer uh, playing wired and then you also got the transition between click clicky mouse click triggers or um just regular triggers so right now these are just default triggers if you want to switch to clicky all you got to do is change flip, flip these right here and then boom and compared to the other uh mouse click triggers um this one's definitely the the di most most different because right here for these controllers it, it's like more it's like instant right here it's kind of blurry sorry it's like instant right here but this but this scuff instant controller or scuff envision controller they they actually designed it differently so it's kind of like a squish like there's like a little bit of a squish so there is like some like push you have to like press on in order to activate the the mouse click it is still mouse click but it's very different compared to how this is how the others are so i'm kind of curious of how that will hold up um but as of right now this control is very nice definitely um like using it um and uh, definitely another great controller in my collection right here so yeah all right so that's gonna wrap it up for my controller collection hope you guys liked it um, if you guys want other videos, just let me know in the comments and, uh, yeah, um, check out my live streams. I do stream on YouTube, um, almost every week. So say hi to me there. Say, say also hi to me on Twitch as well. And, uh, would love to see you guys there. And, uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys later.
Peace.